Sing praise to our God, all you who fear God, both small and great. For now salvation and strength have come in the power of his Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my mischievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy and faith and hope that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowd. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. When the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left Barnabas for Derbe. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed presbyters for them in each church, and with prayer and fasting commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there they sailed to Antioch where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. When they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Friends, make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them dis- discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends, make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you. I am going away, and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father, and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. So 
So today in our gospel, we hear Jesus' words to his disciples from that great Last Supper discourse in the gospel of John. And he speaks to them, letting them know of the great trials he's about to go through, but encouraging them that even as they seem about to undergo this very torturous death he's about to experience, to not let their hearts be troubled, to not be afraid. And we see how Jesus, by going through this and helping his disciples to go through this, when they then are in the position, as they are in, in the Acts of the Apostles after Pentecost, to go out and proclaim the gospel, that their message then is one of reminding the people the same message that the Lord has given them, which is necessary to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. So as Jesus encourages the disciples before he undergoes it, so then the disciples, especially Paul, as we hear in the beginning of this reading from Acts, the people from Iconium and from Antioch come into the village, where, the city where he's at. They rile people up to then stone Paul. But then by the end of the reading, Paul is going back to those cities where those people who inspired the crowds against him were from. He himself goes to Iconium and to Antioch. And it's there he then proclaims the gospel. Knowing the difficulty, knowing the danger, because they start to see, we see this in all the apostles, that they start to see those, that time of trial or that upcoming danger, those hardships that come from proclaiming the gospel as being a way to draw closer to the Lord. Not as something to see as a sign of fear, that, oh, this is, they're, they're pushing back, therefore I should leave, but rather, where is the Lord calling and going there regardless of their being pushed back or not? And it's easy for us to look at these readings from Acts of the Apostles, especially where we hear Paul, beginning of the reading, he's stoned almost to death. We think, oh, okay, you know, we, we know who Paul is, we know the great saint that he is, how he undergoed many of these types of difficulties, beatings, imprisonments, tortures, shipwrecks, all of that. And how he went across all of Europe. So we know his story isn't done. But in the midst of that, he doesn't know, as he's going through it, the great things the Lord is going to do. He has faith and he hopes. But he doesn't know that his story is going to work out the way that it does. He doesn't know he survives that as he's going through it. And so often for us, when we're in the midst of these difficult situations, we don't know how it's going to turn out. And that's what makes it frightening. But this hope we have from the Lord and this hope that the apostles then build each other up with. We hope that even in the midst of these struggles, in the midst of these trials, the worst of them, that just as the Lord went through them and so entered into his glory, he promises us that we go through those same difficulties. We can hold on to that same hope. And so even when we're in the midst of those dangerous trials, when things don't seem to be going our way, in the midst of serious crisis, turmoil even, the Lord promises, and it's in those situations that he tells us not to let our hearts be troubled, to hope in his promises, and it's him who leads us through. Nourished by his word, let us bring our prayers and petitions before God, who is merciful and rich in compassion. For the church, the people of God, May the Lord continue to strengthen us in faith and charity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civic leaders, may wisdom and justice guide them in their work for the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who face chronic illness or pain, may the Lord strengthen and encourage them in their trials. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may all our hearts be filled with the peace only Christ can offer. We pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, may the Lord grant them eternal joy in his kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Claude Gregory, and for God's blessings on Samantha Palmieri on her 18th birthday, to whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, hear these prayers we bring humbly before you, and answer them in accordance with your holy will. 
In Christ's name we pray. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and is rising to the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and James our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, and your merit to be coerced to eternal life, we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us all, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. Hallelujah. Our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended.